Hey guys, thank you for letting me come into your home today. Got just something I want to share with you, something that's very dear to my heart. Uh, one of the things that I want to share with you today is just to remind you of the kingdom that we're in. Uh, I know that the enemy comes in day after day, and I know that the enemy tries to come in, if anything else, and tries to deter you or tries to bring doubt into your heart and your mind over the next couple of days, I want to elaborate on some things and hopefully get you to understand your position in the kingdom of heaven. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, if you're religious, uh, anything like that, if, if, you've, if, you've got a, if you've got tunnel vision mind, uh, you might as well uh, just find something else to watch uh, because my intention today is to let you know where you are in the kingdom. Isaiah chapter number 9 and verse 6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from the time forward, even forever. And he says, the zeal of the Lord will perform this. One thing I want you to understand is Jesus did not solely come to this planet to save you. I cannot trivialize anything uh, dealing with the blood of Jesus or the sacrifice that he made. There is something a whole lot larger to this thing of salvation than you and I, I believe, really realize. Jesus came to this planet to establish the kingdom of God. It was prophesied before he ever showed up 700 years prior to his arrival to this planet. Isaiah said that he is going to come before he ever mentions salvation, before he ever mentions healing. He mentions that he is going to come and establish a kingdom and his government would be on his shoulders. Ladies and gentlemen, today you are not only a son or a daughter of God, but you are an ambassador. You have a position of the kingdom of heaven. Now, the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God are two different things. The kingdom of heaven is a dispensation of which Jesus came to establish. The kingdom of God is an actual place, I believe, that it is heaven. You, right now, have a place in the kingdom of God. You have, right now, the power of the Holy Spirit that is living on the inside of you. Today, you need to understand that you are not not some low guy on the totem pole. You need to understand that right now you have authority through the power and the covenant of the blood of Jesus right now to speak into situations that you are going through, to speak into, he into elements of your life that you may need healing elements of your life that you may need deliverance. All of that is yours through the blood of Jesus. I said I can't take away from his blood or his sacrifice that he made, but it is through his sacrifice. It is through the blood of Jesus that you have been given access to the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven is yours today because the blood of Jesus rests on your life. Maybe today you have been going through a time in your life where the enemy's tried to come in and he's tried to place doubt in your mind. Maybe he's been trying to get you to question the very destiny or call that he has on your life. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand today that you have power and you have authority because right now I believe that your faith is being elevated. I believe that your faith has been quickened right now and through the blood and the power of Jesus Christ you are understanding that you are an adopted son. Yes, but you also have the the ability. You have the rights of a kingdom citizen. Today, you need to speak into those things. You need to go ahead and begin to call those things that are not as though they were. How can you do that? It is because you carry the weight of heaven. When you speak, when you pray, you're carrying the very weight of heaven. So today, I want you right now just to begin to go ahead and begin to pray. As you pray, remember that you have the authority. You have the very weight of heaven praying with you as you pray today. Ladies and gentlemen, today I believe is going to be the best day of the rest of your life. Get ready because God is going to begin to unlock kingdom concepts in your heart, in your life. Stay tuned.